So as you can see, this is the colour that I've mixed up and it's really, really thin. It just leaves a small amount of colour when I swish it around the pot. Um, and then what Cassie and I do now is a bit different. Um, I sort of collect some colour on the sponge and then go all over the doll and then what I use is a almost dry brush just with a tiny bit on the end to push the colour into the creases. And what I do is I put the paint onto my sponge with a paintbrush and then just dab 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 all over. I'm just mixing up the colours for my mottling layers. Um, I'm going to use the Bountiful Baby Eyelid Purple. This is the lip and nail colour, also from Bountiful Baby. And this is a blue. That's a very thin blue. I also quite like to do a salmon pink colour, but I mix that myself. So I thought I'd show you how I do that. Right, we need thinners. Then this is some warm blush from Bountiful Baby. It's quite brownie coloured. Start with a blob of that. Then I'm going to add in some Genesis Red. And this really light pink colour and it makes a really nice warm salmony colour. I use a lot of this on older babies as well. I always tend to go more with this rather than the purples and the reds. I'm just going to begin to apply some shading. Um, the areas that I would consider to need shading would be in the ears and just behind the ears, just below the creases to create a little bit of shadow and depth. Also around the nose, in the nose, around the eye socket, and if you've got a closed eye baby, um, it might be a little bit different, but relatively the same. And I would just shade the inner lids and under here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a warm blush colour mixed with a touch, just a touch of purple. I'm going to apply in one sweep. And then I'm going to blot that off with a sponge. So what I'm going to do is take the thicker paint and do lots of dots in the place where I want the stalk bite to be. And then I'm going to take some of my thinner paint Take off the excess on the side and just go around the edge to blend it in like so and then just blot it off ever so gently with a brush and if you want it a bit more obvious or a bit darker you can go over again and do the same thing just make up any shape that you like because there's no set way to do it I'm going to be using the same colour as Rachel, nice and thin, because I don't want this one to be as noticeable, because it is just a little marking above his lip. It's going to be subtle. I'm just going to use a sponge to blot that off. Right, 
right across the bottom with a thin line and I don't think that's thin enough so I take a bigger brush with a straight head and dab it in thinners and then I swipe down the nail until I am left with a very very thin line at the tip 